and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a crochet provisional cast on. Um, you need a few things to work this. You need first of all your working needles. You need a crochet hook. I am using the hook from my little emergency crochet keychain. Um, you need some scrap yarn. This is an entire cake but you know and your working yarn. And the point of the provisional cast on is that you start off with a row of stitches which you can then kind of release at a later stage, pick up and start working downwards from. To get things started you want to make a slip knot and put it onto your crochet hook just like you would with any normal crochet. And then what you're going to do is basically crochet a row of stitches onto your work. So you get your working needle, you get your crochet hook and you hold them like this next to each other in a cross. Uh, depending on how you like to hold things, you might find it easiest to hold in that hand or this hand or some kind of semi-awkward combination of both. Then you get your yarn, you bring it over, so from the back and up and over both needles And you pull it through the slip knot. So you there have one provisionally cast on stitch. Then you do the same again. Two. Ooh, this one's having an argument with me. Three. And you keep going. Four as many stitches as your pattern says. So I've now got 20 stitches here and I'm going to say that that is enough. So what I'm going to do is break my arm going to just chain a couple of extra stitches at the end here and pull that through to fasten off. So there I have my first row of stitches ready to go. So I can then just start knitting into that row as if they are any normal row of stitches. So at some point in your pattern, it is gonna tell you to unpick your provisional cast on. Um, if you look at the back here, you can see that there are the loops of those blue stitches and they are what are going to be released once the provisional cast on is taken out of here. Uh, this is why it is always very worth doing your provisional cast on in a contrasting colour. So you want to have your needle ready to grab those stitches as they come live. And then what you do is you gently undo your cast on. So that was stitch one released. All I did was I unpicked that knot at the end and now I am pulling and releasing all my stitches. So I've made my way to my last provisionally cast on stitch there. I can just pull that waist yarn through and there you go, stitches released.